getting started on the bows this morning. Um, <laughs> I, I started taking the, this hardware off, off the uh, old one and the bolts, well, there wasn't a whole lot left of them. Focus. Focus. Anyway, trust me, it was rusty. So, uh, <laughs> um, most of them broke off. Uh, the others were just really hard to get out. So I was worried, oh no, I don't have bolts that long enough that are standard, but on the new frame, they're um, metric. So um, I didn't have to worry about that. So uh, what I'm doing, uh, before I wrap it all up in vinyl and make it pretty, I'm, I'm going to attach all the hardware and make sure it's, uh, make sure it works as it's supposed to. Um, getting all the holes drilled for the hardware will, will be helpful. Um, even after you know I wrap it up, it'll. Uh, I think it'll be easier to to do with without the vinyl in place. So that's what I'm going to do right now. place. See this aluminum piece wraps around the front and this clamps hold it in in the back here. Now that I know that it fits and it locks in as it's supposed to, uh, I'm going to take it all apart and glue on some a vinyl under wrap that goes all over the, the wooden part um, before I can start stretching and stapling the, the top to it. Let's take it apart. This is the vinyl I'm going to wrap it in. I bought this in 1993, I think, from a place in Kansas City um, to, to do the interior of the Sprite, at least the door panels and, and stuff. Uh, and they only sold it in uh, full rolls. So I bought a lot of it. Um, probably have enough to do three or four cars. But we're just going to use a little piece today to uh, to do this this bow. see that in there. Um, I've installed a heater. <laughs> I got a nice tip from uh, Major Scope um, about fitting the, the hood. He uh, had also received this from somebody else but uh, basically it's to put in uh, a heater in your car. I guess it's when you're installing the hood and you're not out, outside on a 90 degree day in the sun. Uh, but put a heater in your car, it'll heat up the vinyl at the top then you'll be able to stretch it better um, and when it cools down it'll be nice and tight. What I want to avoid though is what happened to me when uh, oh, once when I, when I was driving around in the Sprite I took this girl to the park in the Sprite on a sunny day and a thunderstorm came up, it got really cold and, and started to rain and when it got really cold the top shrank and I wasn't able to well, I guess I finally did, but it was really difficult to get the, the, the top back on because it was so cold. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so I want to avoid that. So you have to find that Goldilocks point, the uh, not too cold, not too hot, just right. So uh, I've gone ahead and marked 
the, uh, the center on both the top and on the, the bow. And I'm going to line those up and start in the middle, uh, stretching and stapling as I go along. Uh, I just checked the other, the, the other bow. And I was thinking this originally should wrap around and, and tuck under the aluminum piece, but um, the existing bow is just wrapped around and stapled and then cut off right along with the aluminum strip. So, uh, it, which kind of makes sense, but I was thinking it would tuck under. Uh, and then it's going to get the, uh, that strip that goes on top of it to hide the staples. So that's the plan. Now I have to put it into action. I have the heater running inside the car to uh, warm it up, warm up the top. And uh, I know I, I showed you earlier that there were uh, nails that came with the uh, the top the kit for the for the top, but uh, I'm not going to use them. I'm going to use staples. Uh, staples have a higher holding capacity. With, with nails you have uh, just what's around the head to hold the fabric, whereas with staples you have the whole um, bridge between the two points to, to hold the fabric. It's, it's a stronger fastener. So I'm going to go with that. It's also a heck of a lot easier. and You don't have a, a hammer swinging towards the, uh, the windshield, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So we're going to go with that. I have the center marked uh, on both the bow and on the top, and we're going to pull it tight and put a staple in the middle. Next, we'll simply work our way to the edges. filling in the staples in between. Next, we're going to trim back the extra fabric um, just above the aluminum. Yeah, so you see I haven't cut all the way to the to the edge yet. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do. Um, in theory, I think this, this um, seamed edge should come up right there and, and be perfect, but it overlaps by like uh, three quarters of an inch. So I have to figure out how I'm going to get that to look nice. Um, I didn't stretch the top too much, um, you know, side to side, but um, it's even on both sides, so whatever we're going to do, we're going to do it to both sides. Um, maybe I can find a way to pull it without too much of a, a seam and then cover it up with the... Eventually this gets this, this silvery thing and uh, this... Um, double piping thing, cover everything up. Maybe I can just get it a bunch up under there. Um, this, however, I want to go all the way down to the to the aluminum bit, so it covers the ragged edge. I'll trim up these extra hairs. So that's kind of what I'm going to fight with next. In the end, I got it folded over pretty neat. I'm pretty happy with that. So. Um, then the, this uh, double piping will, will go over it and cover up all the staples. Um, I don't think I can get my stapler down in between um, all of these, the, these two, let me see, up close. The, the, the staples or the, the nails go through here. I, I am going to end up using the nails because I can get those inside there. Um, so it'll get nailed through there, and then as it, it pulls tight, it closes up, and you can't see them. 
So that's the plan now. So to start with, I'm just uh, tacking them in place, if you'll excuse the pun, uh, about every three inches or so. I'm not driving them all the way down because I don't want to beat on this too much with the windshield in place. So once I get them all um, in and holding it in place, then I'll take it off and finish the job. attach this little uh, finishing piece. It looks better with the top down, so uh, I folded it up. It fits behind uh, this rear seat, uh, all folded up, and then the frame kind of fits around and sticks out a little bit, um, like that. And you put the tonneau cover on and nobody knows it's there. And nobody knows there's back seats. I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but uh, the headlights are all out of alignment. It wasn't too long ago I had the rings off and spent an hour putting them back on, so I thought I'd do it again and this time align the headlights. Furflex molding, which is this stuff right here, is supposed to have a clip on the very top of it that holds the top from peeling away every time you get in and out of the car. Um, I tried to order one, but they were out of stock, so we are going to try to make one. What we're going to use is uh, a piece of this. It's a curtain rod, actually, um, something that is lying around in my basement. So uh, we're going to cut about an inch section out of here. Probably cut off this end because it's not very square. Now we got the piece we want, and uh, because of the pipe cutter, the the ends are slightly uh, pushed in, which I think I'm going to consider that a good thing for this. Now we're going to put it in the vise and uh, squish it down to tell it's an oval instead of instead of round. Ovals closer to the shape of, of what we want. That's about right. And next we're going to cut a slit right down the middle here with the angle grinder. Now, hopefully, I'll uh, quit knocking it off. If you like this video, click the like button below. If you want to come along on the ride as we complete this project, click the subscribe button. If you want to make sure Google reminds you every time there's a new video, click the alarm bell. Your support is very much appreciated.